Holy shit, that scared me. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to give you an update on where we are uh, with the house and the move. And uh, we're going we're gonna to have to go get some oil shale and just kind of go from there, I guess. All right, so as you can see, uh, I have all my storage set up here. I have moved everything down from the original base except for uh, a bunch of resources. So I still have tons of stone up there. Uh, I've got tons of lead, uh, more brass, more other, you know, those resource types of things that I still have to get down here. Uh, but the problem is that I'm, I don't have any more gas. I have about 70%, you know, 70% gas in the four by here, but, um, that's all I've got. And so I, you know, we need to go get more gas before we make any more trips, uh, north, but I've got all of my equipment, all of my stuff, all of my tools, Weapons, food, that kind of thing is all down here. And I've also pretty much cleaned up the house. Now, I haven't repaired everything yet. I have a lot of, I have some repairing to do, uh, but I've cleaned everything. So I've gotten all the trash off the floor and, you know, made things look, you know, look clean in here. <laughs> um, so I haven't really done anything with the upstairs yet either. So let's take a look and see what we got. So in the garage, um, we have, uh, this is going to be our, our cell box. And I have a lot of stuff I, I, could go through and sell, but I didn't want to work on that yet. Uh, this is going to be auto parts and motor parts. Uh, so, you know, batteries, engines, that sort of thing will go in here. Um, in the kitchen, we have a coffee maker. We have our toaster and our microwave. <coughs> Unfortunately, this had a wall oven in it instead of a broken stove. So we still have the stove thing we're going to have to figure out. So right now I've got the campfire, survival campfire right there. Uh, this little box that I was able to stuck, uh, stick up in here is beverages, pretty much, so in empty containers. Um, and then this is our main food crate here. Uh, because as you guys, I'm sure, know you can't store anything uh, in world containers in Ravenhurst, which is kind of frustrating, but is what it is. Um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for the kitchen. Uh, this is my armor and clothing box right here this is miscellaneous crap up in here and i'll probably uh, uh make this an actual storage box at some point but i'm not too worry about it right now um out here we got a water filter uh machine and this is our gardening box i haven't had a chance of course to print out the garden yet that's going to be uh, uh, on the to-do list of course uh, i built a new uh, blacksmith's forge and and set that over here and then uh, this is forge stuff so molds, ingots, stuff to smelt. Uh, these four boxes up here are going to be where we're going to store, um, you know, kind of our raw resources. So our stone and our sand and our wood and that kind of thing. Um, this is guns in here. Uh, this is building items and, you know, crafted items, building items. This is tools and melee weapons in here. This is ammunition. This is explosives and fuel, um, and this is uh, concrete. So, you know, basically concrete mixer uh, product. Uh, this here is parts. So those are our, our parts bin. Uh, I've got the workbench there, the chem bench there, the tanning rack there. And, uh, yeah, so pretty much you see the setup. I might put some more forges and things like that down later, but, you know, this part gets us started. I decided not to move the barbecue and the cooler and the chairs because it looks kind of cool. You know, it looks like a backyard. So, uh, yeah, I just left all that stuff in place. I did get into the pool and clean out the bodies and that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, also, you know, the, there was all that scaffolding and crap on this side of the house. An old cement mixer that was broken, some pallets of concrete, all that stuff I've cleaned up. Okay, so um, we have a lot of things that need to be done, um, but... Some of the stuff that I need, I need the resources for um, that are back at the base. And before I can get the resources, I need to take more gasoline. I haven't decided what to do about these trees. It's kind of cool that there's a tree there, but, you know, it's dead. So <laughs> I'm probably going to remove that uh, too. 
And, um, you know, so the I, I'm thinking the probably the order of priority is going to be get gasoline and then, um, oh, shit, get gasoline and then um, go get the rest of our resources. I'm just going to leave the area or at least try and pull them away from the house. Um, then we'll probably get a garden going. And after that, uh, we need to get our work on our defenses. Or, you know, if my food can hold out long enough, I might do the defenses first. Um, and then... I'd rather scream and call all the Zeeks this way. Have her scream and pull them over here. She must be like a T2. Is she dead? Yeah. Um, I was attacked earlier today, too, by the way, by a raging mechanic guy. Scary. Pretty scary. He had like 500 hit points, made all kinds of scary noise. He came at me with a sledgehammer. And yeah, uh, I managed to kill him, though, and he did drop a yellow bag, but it didn't have anything spectacular in it, just decent stuff. So, yeah, our, our defenses are, are really important, obviously, right? we got to get those up. And what I have in mind for the defenses is we're going to probably just keep the wall, but I'm going to beef it up. Um, and I might put some electric fences around the perimeter um, and probably call it good because electric fences are super, super effective. Um, the only thing that concerns me a little bit about that is if we get, you know, as we continue to progress and our game stages go continue to go up, that sort of thing, um, we could get some really, really nasty uh, boss zombos come in. So, um, I, I'm still thinking about it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, the other thing I would do, um, is I would build a, a moat, um, around the whole entire house and put a drawbridge up in front so we can still get the four by and, and the motorcycle and whatever across it. Uh, cause a moat, you know, is going to buy us more time if we have a really bad, you know, uh, boss type zombo come in. Um, for normal Zeeks, you know, the wall and electric fences won't be a problem, but it's just, like I said, I'm a little concerned about some big, real mean boss zombie coming in at some point, which will probably happen, especially if we're already calling screamers. And so, you know, uh, I might do a moat two and or, I don't know. I, I still have to think about it. I still have to think about it, but we'll, we'll come up with something. Uh, but we do need to get defenses in place, obviously, as soon as possible. And so I might work on that next if, you know, if my food can hold out okay. Because, you know, making a garden in Ravenhurst is not as simple as it is in vanilla. It's, it's a little more involved, you know, especially with all the water and that kind of crap that you got to do. And um, I'm probably going to put the garden out here, too, by the way. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Or back here. Still still pondering that, too. So there's just a lot to do. And it's all fun. And I'm really, uh, ha you know, enjoying it and all that. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the desert. And I'm going to go back to the base first and get some supplies. Uh, we're going to head out to the desert and find an oil shale deposit and get a bunch of oil shale going because, like I said, we need to get fuel here in the 4 bike. Now, at some point, I need to also figure out how to get the mini bike down here too, and that probably means that we're going to have to just hoof it back to the uh, original location and then drive it back because you can't pick up vehicles in Ravenhurst. Um, thought I saw a Zombo out there. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's see. Uh, I mean, we, we've got quite a bit of food, so it's not like, you know, we don't have any food, so it could last us for a while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a full stack of chamois chowder, and I'm also going to take some potatoes for mining just for the buff. And um, then let's take two stacks of coffee for beverage. I don't have any rock busters or anything like that. The other thing, however, uh, is that our pick is 692. And I think I'll just take a, an advanced repair kit with us uh, as well. I just have to figure out what I did with it. Advanced repair kit. Where would you be, Mr. Advanced Repair Kit? You wouldn't be in there. You wouldn't be in there. I know I have some. I just don't know what the heck I did with them. <laughs> okay, so they're not in... Oh, they're in... 
Get gravy. They're on my toolbar. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. That's like like my wife asking me, hey, have you seen my glasses? Uh, yeah, honey, they're on your head. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, we all do it, though, especially at our age. Okay, so we've got the, the repair kits with us already, so we're good to go on that. we got the food. we got the coffee. It is getting dark, but, you know, we're going to have to mine in, at nighttime because uh, I'm not going to sit around and wait. And uh, it'll be dangerous and it'll be fun. So, yeah, let's just bring this down here. And I don't think there's anything else we need to do at the moment. Uh, this guy is... Let's just let's actually turn both of these things off because I'm a little bit concerned about... You know, screamers already coming in when, and I haven't, I don't have any defenses up yet. So let's let this place kind of cool off a little bit, and then we'll go out into the desert and get ourselves. I, I need to turn those bounding boxes off too. Uh, but anyway, we'll go out and get some oil shale. So we're just gonna head into the desert here and find the first oil shale deposit that we can find and mine her up. I love the 4x4, but man, does it suck the gas. Whew. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw how many full stacks of gas I had when I started the move, but it's all gone, <laughs> and it's all from just making trips back and forth. So, you know, it's to be expected, though. We might even actually continue to use the mini bike just around town. You know, the downside to that, though, is we have all this storage space in the 4x4, um, and that's, you know, that's a pretty good incentive to, to take it with us even in town just for that reason alone. Okay, I was kind of hoping we'd find something just right here in the flat area right on the border, but I'm not seeing anything pop out at me at the moment. Let's just drive for, oh, there's some right there. Okay, so that's not too bad, but let's keep driving. That's iron. Um, oh, you know what? I think... I think maybe that's iron, too, up there. Is it? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, that's iron, too. That's not a bad thing, though. I mean, we could start an iron mine there for sure. Let's just go this way a little further. Come on, oil shell. Just be close by in a nice flat spot for us, please. Pretty please. There we go. There's, ooh, nice. There's three right in the same area. All right, we're going to make a ginormous strip mine here um, with all this stuff. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and throw back a chamois chowder. That gives us a maximum stamina bonus of 30. Uh, we'll take a coffee, and let's get the mine in here.
Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we've, we've got enough oil shell for a while now. Um, let's take a look and see what we got here. So yeah, all of that, which is a lot. Plus we, we got a decent amount of stone and sand and a little bit of clay and some other stuff too. Uh, so let's head on back to the base now and uh, get this cooking up. Uh, a little concerned about calling more screamers in, but I guess we'll deal with them as best as we can because we got to get this, uh, we got to get some more gas going here. Actually, leaving the the bounding box on is quite useful. This helps me find the damn house at night. Okay. Um, are we being pursued at all? I think we're good. All right. Let's grab um like a row of of shale. And we're going to, we need, let's see, what else do we need? We need uh, gas tanks. So we're going to find those in here. Probably going to aggro whatever that Zombo is. <clears throat> we're going to have to go rent some more cars, uh, too. But, um, let's see, I should have coal. Yeah, I got coal in there. All right, we're going to have to deal with this guy. He's going to be a problem for us. Oh, shit. Over here, dummy. Get out of my face. Guess we never looted this, did we? Oh, nice. I don't need the, the duffel bag. Okay, so let's put um, some coal in here and make as much gas as we have gas cans for. Uh, so it's gas cans that's actually holding us up and not, um, let's make sure we have no more than we need just to keep the heat down. Come over here, dumbass. There you go. Alright. So the rest of the gas, I think what we'll do... Or, I mean, I'm sorry, oil shell. I think we'll just keep it in here because that's kind of where it should be anyway. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... Kind of offload the floor before I get some things organized. And then I think, you know, the more I think about it, we need to get defenses in place even before we get the garden going. And um, and I, I think I'm going to do the moat. The advantage of doing the moat is I'm going to get a lot more resources and I'm going to continue working on leveling up my mining tools. One more level and I can make the auger. Now, you guys told me that if you use the auger in Ravenhurst, it doesn't give you mining skill, which really, really sucks. But, you know, at least it would get us an auger that we could use if we need to quickly break, you know, break stuff. Um, and you also said you get more resources from picking, but I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to test that because here's the thing. The pick might get you more resources, but the auger's going to mine faster, so you're going to move through more material, so... You know, I'd like to kind of test that and verify, you know, which way it actually is. Especially since, you know, we're only working with a steel pick. Now, it might be different once you get into the aluminum and the titanium picks, but, you know, we're not there yet. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here. I'll bring you guys back uh, sometime tomorrow uh, during the, the day with an update on where we are. Holy crap. What is this? Terror mutant. That's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie.
I wish those special monsters wouldn't despawn after you kill them, and because they should be like giving you some mega loot, you know. Whew. Okay. That's the first time I've seen him. I mean, I've seen him in older versions of Ravenhurst, but it's the first time I've seen him on our playthrough here. Scary. Yeah, see, that's why we got to get our defenses going. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully. All right, guys. It is morning. Um, So, I have, I, I'm trying to think about how I want to do the... Um, do the moat here. I don't think we need to make it really large. Uh, probably even, you know, two blocks wide would be adequate. Uh, we do have to consider, though, I'm going to break this door out uh, and we'll park the the 4 by right here in the garage. Uh, but we do have to consider how we're going to work a drawbridge situation. Um, so I think the moat will just kind of follow along the fence line, you know, for the sides in the back and in the front will probably come along the front of the road here and then back that way. Now we could, um, I think the farm, yeah, we're, I'm just going to have the farm be separate from the house and probably out here. And we'll probably just put a wall or something around that. Um, the other option is we could, we could plant the farm, you know, if the moat's going to be here, we could plant the farm here and all along here and keep it inside of the fence. That wouldn't give us as much area. That I would do that if this was vanilla, but because we have to, you know, make an area for water, um, I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be with the number of crops that I have. Um, but I guess what I'll do is I'll worry about that later. So I think we'll go ahead and, and just dig the moat, you know, uh, along the property line, basically where you see this kind of raised ground uh, for the whole POI. And uh, we'll probably make it two blocks wide. The thing is, though, is Zombo, can Zombos jump a two? I think they can jump a two block wide span. So if we make it two blocks wide, we might still need to put like a little short wall around it. Um, it, you know, at least around in the front here. Now, of course, this we already have a wall here, so we're good to go here. So yeah, we might have to build a, a shorter wall, or even just extend the, that wall um, out here too. And then, as far as a drawbridge goes, you know, I guess we'll have to, you know, kind of pull in and then come across this way to get into the driveway so that I'm going to have to figure out how that's going to work too. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get my food. I'm going to have some zombos here to deal with. Tough zombies. These T2s. All right, got rid of her. Oh, there is one, another thing I wanted to also show you guys what I'm going to do. I want to get rid of these big, thick columns and just put poles up there. Uh, so I made some mortar here. And um, these we can make flagstone blocks with. We need cobblestone rocks. And can we do that in here? Yeah, so I'm going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four. So I think I'm going to, we can do this with eight. So let's make eight flagstone blocks. Um, just because, you know, these are big and bulky, they don't need, in fact, I could probably take them out and not have anything there, but I'm not 100% sure that's going to support that. It should, but we'll, you know, we'll keep the poles there, but we're just going to make them much thinner so they're not taking up so much space. All right, so let's get these guys out of here. And we want to change these to flagstone poles. And do we want to do center? No, I don't think that's going to fit right. So we're just going to do it like this. 
then we'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Now let's get these. I have to get my hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. See, we got a bunch of tools and stuff that we should we could sell in here. I'll I'll, I'll take care of that at some point. It's just not the priority right now. And then let's grab uh, some more cobblestone and some concrete. Okay. And then um, we break out these bigger blocks, and that's just going to give us a little bit, bit more of a spacious feel here. There we go. That looks better. That looks much better. Thought about maybe even putting one in the center too, just more for aesthetic reasons, but I think we'll just keep it this way for now. That way we, we have more room. We can move in here a little bit better and stuff. So, okay. So let's, let's go ahead and grab, uh, we'll just grab this stuff here. I'm going to put this back in there and we're going to start doing some digging. Uh, just around the perimeter of the place. Uh, starting on this corner here. And this is not something, you know, I'm likely going to do in, in one, one go. Um, we're just going to work on it as we go along. But the idea is we make, <coughs> excuse me, we make it a two block wide moat. Uh, I'm not sure how deep I'm going to go with it yet. Probably thinking three blocks deep maybe and then we'll set up a, a wall in the front here uh, you know to prevent the zombies from jumping the gap I'm gonna line the inside of it with concrete and then probably put electric fences down there uh, we could do spikes too the problem with spikes though is then you gotta freaking keep them repaired which isn't a big deal I mean we could definitely do that but um, electric fences are are very, very effective and much easier uh, to repair. Plus the fact that because we have maxed out engineering, if at least if it's the same as it is uh, on vanilla, we should get, yeah, we get 50% XP from electrical trap kills. Whereas if we put down spikes, we're not going to get any XP at all, I don't think. So that's the that's the tentative plan at this point of course i always as always i reserve the right to change my mind uh, but um i think that's what we're going to go with to start with so i'm going to start digging on this guys and i will bring you back once again with an update uh here pretty soon all right guys we just hit mining tools 80 um so that means we can oh we got three points to spend too by the way uh, that means we should be able to craft the auger. Uh, so let's unlock that because, you know, even if it doesn't give us money and XP, I still would like it for, you know, faster working. Um, and then to get advanced tools, which basically unlocks the aluminum pickaxe. I don't know what unlocks the titanium pickaxe. Uh, maybe there isn't one. Um, we'll have to get to 100, which, you know, par that's partly why I wanted to do the moat because... If the auger does not give us XP, after I confirm that, then I'll continue using the shovel. Uh, but anyway, let's see if uh, what it takes to make one of these suckers. Uh, so if we go here, um, we're going to need bicycle handlebars. Oh, look at that. We can make a green quality, too. That's really nice. Uh, I should have everything except for the handlebars, but I bet you we can make those. So handle, bicycle handlebars. So we just need that stuff to make the handlebars. Okay, so duct, leather, mechanical, pipe, and spring. All of that should be in here. Duct, leather. Hmm, do I not have any leather? Uh, we needed mechanical parts, pipes, and springs. 
Am I really out of leather? I got three pieces there. I thought I had... I thought I had more leather. Did I put it somewhere else? Is there any leather in here? Is there anything in here I can turn into leather? Uh, this I can. I mean, it sells for 57, but I don't care. Uh, these, I think I could probably turn into leather too. Yeah, we're going to have to, uh, that's going to give us seven pieces. We're going to have to go do some, uh, hunting or something. I didn't realize I was so damn short on leather. Okay, well, that should be enough to make it though. So, oh, motor, motor tool parts. Let's grab those as well. Now what am I missing? Oh, no, no, no. we got to make the handlebars first. Okay. My bad. My bad. Bicycle handlebars. There we go. Okay, so let's... I'll finish all that mortar later. In fact, that I don't even think I'm going to make any more mortar right now. We'll just use that for the time being. Okay, those will be done in 10 seconds. Uh, let's put the... Um, what do we got going on up there? Yeah, we'll put this stuff in here. Okay, so we still need an engine, 10 forged steel, and four screws. Grab the screws. I got engines back here. Now what the hell are we missing? Oh, the steel, duh. <laughs> we'll get it right eventually. There we go. Look at that, man. A green auger. Nice. Next time we make um, a pick or a shovel, it's going to be green too because of our our skill level. So that is fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, let's put all this stuff back in here. We'll put the steel in the forge box. And how long is that going to take? 55 more seconds. All right. While we're waiting for that, um, got a few poo, uh, poo, food, <laughs> poo, food items to put in here. I have a few poo items. Uh, no, I don't keep poo in the same box as the food. I mean, it's bad enough that I'm keeping rotten meat in the same box as the food, but at least with the rotten meat, that's actually turning into our food, which also is really gross, actually, if you think about it. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what it freaking is. Okay. Um, so we're going to need some gas for the auger. We have 3,000 uh, gasoline. Um, let's actually fill up the 4x4 four four with what we have. I moved it out onto the street before I strand it. Uh, oh, man. It took all of that. Shit. I still didn't fill it completely up either. Unbelievable. All right. Well, let's just we'll save this 500 for the for the auger. There she is. Okay. So, um let's fill it up. This is probably going to call in screamers too now that I think about it. And the first test I want to run is do we really not get any mining XP when we run the auger? Okay, so let's go here. Um, ooh, how are we going to... I don't know. Can we actually tell that, though? Because I don't think we can see what our actual mining tool skill is. I mean, it doesn't give us, like, a running... You have, you know, X number of points. All right. What about just XP in general? So right now we're, we're at 130,667. Oh, hell, that takes as long as the frickin' shovel. For goodness sakes. Really? I think the shovel's faster. 
or at least as fast. Um, I don't think I have a grave digger mod. Is this kind of like Undead Legacy, where the auger is only good? Well, in Undead Legacy, the auger is actually only good for dirt. Let's see how it does on this stone here. Okay, versus... Okay, we need to, we need to find another whole stone, or boulder rather. To test this. Or you know what we could do? Um, I need to cut. I'm, I need to cut away. Oh, look. There's some strawberries. One block width of the asphalt out here. So we can test it on the asphalt. Okay, so let's do the pick first. What I'm going to do is get my stopwatch going on my phone here. Make sure we're at full stamina. Um, let's pop another one of these and a coffee. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start it now. So it took 7.08 seconds for me to break that block with my pick. Okay, now to be fair, to be fair, let's make sure we put, I don't think you can put an, well, can you put an ergonomic grip on on a locker? Maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Okay. So let's make sure the auger is modified in the same way as the pick. Okay. And then, uh, so, okay, so 7.08 seconds is what the pick took. Let's, let's try the auger now. Okay, the auger was about 8 seconds, but I also missed, I also, you know, slipped up and missed uh, two for so let, let's redo the auger. Let's redo the auger. So I don't think I did a fair Shake of that. Okay, let me make sure I'm right over here. Okay, here we go Okay, so it's about 6.8 seconds so the auger is just a teensy bit faster than the pick all right, now the next thing I want to see though is if I use the auger, am I getting, am I getting um, player XP, just normal XP, not mining skill XP? So 13452. 13447. So I got, yeah, I got a, just a tiny bit. I mean, like five. <laughs> We got five points for that. Okay, does this does the pick do anything different? Let's put the mods back on the pick. All right, so we are at one thirty four forty seven. One thirty four thirty eight. Forty seven down to thirty eight. So we got nine. Yeah, we got nine points for the pick. So we got almost twice as much player XP using the pick than we did with the auger. But I have no, you know, I don't know how I can measure the mining, um, you know, the mining tools skill because it doesn't tell me you know, where I'm at, how many points I have and how many points I'm getting per busted block. So I don't, I don't know how to measure that. 
So I'm going to take your guys' word for it and um, assume that that I'm not getting the, you know, the mining skill using the auger. And honestly, you know, the auger, it's not significantly faster than, you know, than the pick. In fact, I think it's slower than the shovel. Um, I, I mean, I'm almost positive it is. I, I guess we could test that too. So let's, um, let's reset here. And here we go. Oh, got to gas it first. One point seven seconds for the auger. Okay. Now let's try the shovel. The shovel does have a mod on it. It's got a structural brace mod. So let's pull that off just so we're being fair here. Okay. So one point seven seconds for the auger for a block of dirt. Let's try the shovel. 1.45. Yep, the shovel is definitely faster than the auger uh, in dirt. The auger is just slightly faster than the pick on, well, at least on asphalt. I'm assuming it's going to be the same with stone. So not significant enough in terms of just speed. Um, now, I understand, you know, with the pick, I'm going to eventually run out of stamina. And, you know, so there's that. But I'm getting more XP with the, I'm getting more player XP with the pick. And presumably not getting any mining xp at all with the auger so you know I'm, I'm a little disappointed it's not that much better um it, i'm not going to use stamina but what i am going to be using is gasoline on it you know so that's expensive <laughs> that's expensive so i don't know guys i'm, I'm not uh i'm not uh sure i'm digging the, the auger so much well let me know in the comments you know if you guys like the auger in Ravenhurst or, you know, what it's good for, because at this point I'm, I'm just not, I'm not seeing that it's all that good, you know, not significantly better is, is what, uh, I would say than you know, using the pick and the, and definitely not better than the shovel. The shovel, shovel is easily better in dirt, uh, than the auger is. Let's put that back on there. I think I can make a, um, a grave digger. I think we learned the the mod for it. Yeah. I should actually make one of these for the shovel. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And I'm just going to work off camera for a while on the moat. And, um, you know, keep using the hand tools so we can keep getting better, more XP. And hopefully, you know, getting more mining XP. And, you know, we will eventually. It's going to take a long time, of course. But we will eventually hopefully get to level 100 on mining tools and then we can get the aluminum pick and that's gonna you know that's gonna give us even higher level specialty ores and be even better so that is it is my intention to get my you know my character here to 100 on mining tools here in ravenhurst uh but hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye